Yo, we here with it. So we're going to jump back in. Today is the 21st of November, the moment I'm recording this. We are in Klimadal, Snowbank, Wonderland. And you know also about uh, Z2O and the staked on. But since then, we've jumped into some other projects a little bit. We'll go into them as we get to them. Snow Dog. Uh, Dow on Avalanche and Spartacus Dow on Phantom. And I'll show individuals how to try to get some money slash energy quickly onto Phantom in, um, in a way that makes more sense. So let's get to it. Go through all of our and as we go through I'll explain some of the decisions I made on that. What we got See how I many somebody um none of this is financial advice, any of this is entertainment or for you informational purposes for it's weird. Some people have sent wrote comments, but YouTube automatically deletes them and I put it to allow all comments and I don't delete anything, even the spam that people put on. Please don't click on any links or trust any telegram groups, anything like that. But for people who've been trying to just say nice stuff or things, it's sometimes deleted. I don't understand why, but um Somebody was just saying, hey, I could just copy and paste this and put it there. You were 100% right. Very kind, lovely, beautiful individual. Now you know I have the most beautiful subscribers. So add this into Klima. Where are we at with it? Okay. So we're going to just move fast. We're not going to be sitting here. Front friend through and going through things. I mean, look, Klima's doing nice. I'm not going to lie. And even just briefly, I'll show that the price that went down was down around 1100 or something. And I was back up to 1644 It was up, I believe, at 17-something yesterday. Uh, current APR, 38, almost 39,000. So, you know, these things are going to last a long time. Now sucked in 11 million tons of uh carbon we, we the more i've been reading and seeing about this the greater hopefully these projects god willing these projects do over the long run and getting into them still at these points relatively early will be life-changing for a lot of individuals you know who had the foresight but let us get on to now let's do avalanche network next we're going to kill a bird, bunch of stones but let me see if there's anything else here that's important. I want you guys to see. Nope. All right. An avalanche. Time Wonderland. Always come and refresh just in case. Uh, copy. I went to Snowbank before Time Wonderland. Okay, I had that. But I have, I'm not going to say more faith in Time Wonderland, but a lot of faith in Time Wonderland. Daniela Sesta is, seems to be a genius that I'm keeping my eye on. As you can see, I don't even care about the price of this stuff. I just It's more to me about are my numbers going up. That is the most important thing. The most important thing are my numbers going up. So let's look, let's see. Time has doing, been doing well. It was up at like 96, I believe, earlier, but 92. It was, been, it was down in the 7,000. So, you know, a lot of these recovered. The market went down, rebounding pretty nicely. A very strong project, I believe. Let's go to Snowbank. Refresh. No bank. All right. How much no bank have we have? It don't look like we had as much no bank. All right. I guess we're about to go to um, point zero one two, but. Slow and steady wins the race. I don't think we've been in this project long. But the good thing about Snowbank, and I'm excited about, and they announced this morning, they about to, um, if you were in this project before 
November 10th at 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, you're going to be part of an airdrop. So you see, we were in there two days before that. So should be receiving an airdrop on the 30th um, from Snowbank. So super excited about that. We will keep a close eye on that. I'm just going to go ahead and do my state. I'm going to do Snow Dog while we're on Avalanche and talk uh, slightly about that. And do my state home as well while we're here. Boop. So... Now, is there a way I can see there's more of this? I think if I go to... The best way to see this is in my Trader Joe. You can see um, how much. I'm just going to pick a random number there. Let's see. Oh, this number didn't seem like it went up any unless... In the... Smaller numbers is going to start to increase. Oh, this may be some garbage. If I'm not getting my, my rebasing on my staked on, my wrap staked on on my avalanche, this is the whole purpose of doing this. So I'll, I'll come back and take a look at that. At some point, I'm not going to dwell too much on that now. So... Snowbank. All right, so Snow Dog. Snow Dog was uh, something that came out the other day. His APR was the number was ridiculous. It was not even you know a number almost incalculable. Um, but at the time, the it was just something I threw like about you know um, fifty USD uh, again at just to see what would happen. It, the APR was crazy. And they came out with a plan to be the meme coin for the Avalanche Network. And by doing that, the plan is to be in like, they had a really crazy high stake in APR for the first couple of days. And then you see like 24% in five days. It was like 100 some percent initially for the first three or four days. But in eight days, it all stops. And then it, it goes to just being a meme coin. So not exactly sure where to go with that. This, uh, you can see here is that now, I'll show the rules in a second. It's at, um, the price is about $2,151, back in $926. So mint to five days, and that started day one, the 17th on day five, no more, the dog can not be minted anymore. So minting for five days, it cannot the uh, cannot the S dog cannot be redeemed can still be redeemed not yet redeemed can still be redeemed staking remains unchanged but staking after eight days stops so you can mint for five days redeem mint for eight days stake for eight days and after that all assets from the treasury except S dog mem um, liquidity uh, tokens are swapped for mem at a random time of on day eight, all the mem is spent to orchestrate a massive buyback of all the S dog, which is the token. So you got staked S dog and S dog. Um, from the S dog mem liquidity pool, S dog bought will be burned. Staking rewards will be paused. You will be able to unstake your dog. All the contract ownership will be renounced. S dog will have a fixed supply and will become the mean currency of AVAC. So basically. It's an eight-day thing that's happened with this. And this is true crazy game theory, and I don't know what I'm going to do. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do, but I don't know exactly if it's the right thing. But anyway, and that's why I guess why I'm doing it, because I don't know if it's the right thing. So for the first five days, they're minting. And you can get it for here, you know, s Dog or Mem LP tokens for 17%, Joe for 15%, Wrapped AVAX for 14 Spell. You know, this is all the stuff you can mint and get these discounts on buying s Dog. On day five, that stops. You can't buy any more of these, which will be on the 22nd, which will be tomorrow at 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. You will not be able to buy any more of these mint. For three more days until the 25th, then you will still be able to stake and get these crazy high rewards like we're getting right now, APR of $897 million, you know, 24% in five days, blah, blah, blah. Not blah, 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 but you know what I mean. And 
on that eighth day, the staking stops, the redeeming mint stops. So you can redeem your mint to get to either get S token back or and they'll, they're either going to probably give it back to you at that point. You won't be able to redeem at that point. They'll just give it to you. What does it say? Uh, ba ba Staking rewards will be paused. All swaps will be matched. Fix supply. So, be the mint. Then that they be redeem your mint and get and get your S dog token. And if you don't, they'll probably just give you your S dog token back from your mint if you haven't redeemed it. Staking. You'll have your stakes up to eight day eighth, and then after that it stops. And what happens then is all the money that they have in the treasury, the buyback now fifty three million so far. They'll be able, they're gonna buy back all the S dog from the liquidity pool and burn it, and whatever's left, that's what's left, and it'll just go on as a meme currency. So what I'm going to do is sell half as we get close to that day eight of the little amount of this to sell half <laughs> and then see what happens with the rest so i probably push it back into either like a tether or a or avax depending on avax doing at that time and then see what happens with the other half you know may go through the roof and may crash so not exactly sure, so at that point, I'm just going to hedge my bet and see what goes. But that is Snow Dog, so let me get my information from here. I put in um, one of this .01 um, a couple of days ago. You'll see that shortly here, or if you've already looked ahead. I gotta go back to armor trim. Okay. I'll go on. So yeah, I put in 0 0.01 and now I'm at 0 0.01287566. All that. So let's see with that. Let's now go to Arbitrum. Um oh wait. Yeah, oh yeah, because I didn't trust it. So I had put it into uh this this account <laughs> yeah i put it on the test bed because i was like hey I, I don't know what was going on this this song uh, because the apr was so high i was like is this going to be a um is this going to be a a um a rug drop a rug <laughs> rug drop a rug pull and so hold on got another one from over here and makes all noise noise Hey, Pookie. Hey, hello. Uh, she wants to go play somewhere. Meow went all out for me to come grab her. Just Rex. Everybody always meowing. Always begging for something. Uh, zero to own. See how we're doing here. Going up, like I said, we just want to see increases in this. I don't know what's up with this wrapped avalanche. I have to double check. Swore that that worked putting it on the buying wrapped ava wrapped staked ohm on avalanche. You'll see a rebasing, and maybe it has been just with such a low number I have that I'm not really seeing it as such. But these numbers look pretty similar to me, unless I pull them out a little bit more. And I don't, so I must have had the same, same numbers. Okay, here thing, here the price is going up a little bit. Price is down to like the one teens earlier. APR still at eighty one, like a time APR. Price back in runway. Seem like it's doing well. Still these um. See yeah, they got wrap stake on as a bond discount. This one's on Arbitrum. I was gonna say I may just use it to buy some more of this, but it's on Arbitrum not. Um, avalanche. It was supposedly just causes a dilution um, with these high, having these high bond rates. So it's something to keep an eye on. But let's move on to now. We bought, and this I'll really briefly go through a quick step of how to get 
money onto the Phantom Network so that you're able to use the Phantom Network for things. Could have just, I guess, we could have did um, the Sheba, but we'll come back to it. <clears throat> so, put together a little. If you wanna, I'll put all these links, everything you see in blue down in the uh, description section. But other than that, if you wanna take some screenshots of these steps, I'm gonna go through them super quickly, hopefully one by one, but at the same time, not in enough detail. I know for everybody at all times, and you know, know how the game go. So anyway, first, very simply, this is what I did. I bought on Coinbase at Avalanche. The reason why I did this because you could just very quickly, I go to the bottom. You can, at the end of the day, buy FTM on Ethereum on Uniswap and then bridge it over to the Phantom Network and go from there. But it costs money. So um, that becomes a problem. And another problem is if you just send like something to use another bridge like I have here, you have this C bridge from Cellular, Net Cellular Network where you can just send USDT or anything over to um, Phantom Network, then you don't have any Phantom there, and that becomes a problem. So you need Phantom first. And so what's the easy way I found to do this? Well, it seemed like a lot of steps, but it's actually pretty easy if you've been made it this far you've been doing some of this stuff already you know some of the steps and you just keep building on the same things you learn and everything is just variations on kind of the same thing for the most part so you buy i bought some avalanche on coinbase i transferred my avalanche from coinbase to my avalanche wallet you know we talked about all these steps before i'm not gonna show it all again from then i sent from the avalanche wallet to metamask we talked about this before now I have my avalanche on MetaMask, or maybe you already have some avalanche or something. You're going to just get it started. You just want to get a little bit of phantom there, and then you'll get other money there easier. We'll explain that in a second. So once I have some avalanche on my MetaMask, I go to Trader Joe. Trader Joe here. I'm going to put this down in a section. And on there, I exchange for Tether. And then on Tether, avalanche on Tether, sorry, Tether on Avalanche is called USDT.E. Okay? But it's just Tether. I just went for Tether. It didn't even go into my, I didn't even save it to my MetaMask. Couldn't see it in there. But it, when I went to the exchange sites, I could see my, my, my Tether there. From that, I took my Tether and went to um, Spirit Swap, which is. A is it's like a uni swap, a sushi swap, sushi swap, or pancake swap for the Phantom Network, but they have other things they do as well. It's pretty cool, and we'll talk about that in a second. So I went to Spirit Swap. I went to Spooky Swap first, but it, and and then for that's something else. But Spirit Swap was better for what I needed for this. So I went to Spirit Swap, and on there on their screen they have a bridge function, and I can show you that really quickly. I went here to bridge, and I bridged from Avalanche Network. I'm saying do I want to switch networks, switch networks. Am I on Avalanche? Okay, no. Switch from Avalanche, and I select the currency. I was able to pick my USDT. I don't have none, any now, but I had some then. And I was able to switch it over to Phantom. Now, the reason why I use Spirit Swap, and this is a very important thing, is they gave me Phantom by bridging on their network or on their site, using their site to do the bridge. So when I, I sent the Avalanche Tether to the Phantom Network and it arrived, they gave me as like a gift using the, um, in quotation signs, for those who are just listening, 0 0.4 FTM, which allow you to get about three or four gas exchanges on the phantom network so it was perfect so they sent me 0 0.4 ftm i went to the I, so i got that and my tether which is now on a phantom network as f usdtm small letter f usdt which is my tether on the phantom network but i also have 0.4 phantom 
So the first thing I did is went to the exchange on that site. So I got that, went to the exchange. Once I saw it in my wallet, I went over to the Phantom Network, switched over to the Phantom Opera Network. And you can get this off of the chainlist.org. And I went over here and I um, exchanged some of my tether for some more FTM. So I had enough to do all the gas I want to do for whatever. And at that point now, I have money at Tether, I have money energy to Tether on Phantom and gas money. And then once I had that, there's other bridges to use to get others, you know, if you want to put more money on Phantom, now that you have gas to use over there. And if necessary, if push come to shove, I could have just bought some Phantom on Uniswap, bridged it over to the network and been good. But this was a little cheaper way of going about it, I felt. So now with my money on, the reason why I went to put some money on Phantom is because I wanted to join this dial called Spartacus. Why it looks the same is just an own fork. They're all, you know, what's the difference about this one? Um, you know, it's on the Phantom Network and there's not much money on the Phantom Network and it's doing pretty well. It has a nice circulating supply and, and backing. And, you know, this one looks more like a DAO, complete DAO. I'm sorry, OM um, copy it has a very similar even um, user interface to OM, but has a runway of about 170 days. It's, you know, it's very early. But what they're doing, interestingly, is that they're going to have their own kind of abracadabra money on the Phantom Network. Because Phantom Network doesn't have much support for, I'm sorry, abracadabra money doesn't have much support for Phantom. And so now they're going to, you know, get ahead of the curb and have Spartacadabra, which will be able to, you know, unlock yield bearing assets and make money using stable coins. And the cool thing is if you are in Spartacus, you are supposedly going to get an airdrop for Spartacadabra or whatever their equivalent is to the spell in on Abracadabra. So Put some money in on the Phantom Network. I did. I'm not saying this for anybody else. I'm saying I did. Put a little bit of money in this for this organization onto the Phantom Network, which is a you know it's fairly and, and it's fairly it's like Avalanche, a fairly uh, inexpensive cheap network to get into Spartacus. Hector Dial is another one a lot of people like here on, and I'm looking at that as well. To me, going there personally, I'm not 100. percent Some things I do personally that is not reflected in what you see here on um for this organization so two different things so anyway and spartacus now hoping to get some airdrops for spartacadabra god willing get airdrops for it now let us go back to quickly ethereum so we can check on our How much? See, yeah, this doesn't look well. Maybe let me go back here. And this doesn't look like it changed either. This, no, we gotta be doing a little bit better than that, right? I know she everything went down, but I'm still staking. My ex Sheba should still be increasing, but this may be not the right place to get it from. So, and here, um, I'll quickly while that's doing that. And it may mess this up, but who cares? Go to here, pool. And that pool showed up. I just said, I guess it was just down or something at that time. But that pool showed up. You see, we get some unclaimed fees here of eight cents. Remember, I just put like eleven dollars in this liquidity pool on optimistic. Just trying to help out the algorithm in case your boy can get a, a bit of an airdrop for helping them out. Speaking of which, I got one last thing to show you before the end. Uh, this looks like even less now. Hold on. I, yeah, dog, what the heck? I must be looking at this wrong, or I can't have less. Pending profit. Say that's the amount of sheep invested, deposited. Okay.
this game is just pending. I have, okay. So maybe someone can underst understand this better than me and can point this out. I'm just going to put this number in here for now. Uh, did it not let me copy that? Did it not let me copy that? Copy. Paste. Oh, I was tripping. All right. So, um, yeah. Don't know what that's about. I have to figure out, go back, do some research, figure out why that appears to be going lower. But I'm not going to keep you guys much longer. And so I'm just going to move on to really quickly saying that talked to you before about Z-Sync and um, putting a little bit of money on there. And also, if you're able to, on the other, uh, their testnet wallet to tweet something out to get some money from their faucet to be able to use um, their exchange. I think it's like a, yeah, it's Uniswap on their testnet as an exchange to uh, play with some money back and forth. But they also have now added in ZigZag, which is a an exchange, a decentralized exchange that is operating on the ZK Sync mainnet, and it's also a testnet. And if you are going to stick me back to my wallet, I don't want that. If you go on here with that money you put on, you can trade a little bit. And so you see here, I'm going to connect my wallet. And you can see I've been trading some Ethereum and some USD back and forth. I need to put more on because you need to have like at least 0.04 Ethereum, 0.004 Ethereum to trade or at least $20 USTD to trade. And I'm a little bit less than both of them right now, so... We'll put some more on so I can trade back and forth. But you also go here to the mainnet. And if you um, go here to this site, um, Rinky B, Rinky B, Rinky Buy, I don't know, authenticated faucet, put in a, a link with some uh, a URL. Oh, it's funded. Maybe. Do I got some money there now? Funded. Is this? I think that's. Oh, no, those are other people. So I'm thinking this is me getting funded. Hilarious. Um, I did it on my personal, but not on this because I don't have a Twitter with this yet. Anyway, if you put some money in there, then you can go back to there and on that faucet, go into the test net and then go into, I believe you're going to go into the rinky test net and connect your wallet and be able to trade like a lot more Ethereum back and forth but it'll be test ethereum it won't be real so don't get too excited with everything in that way but the reason why you want to do this because you may get an airdrop from using zigzag trade exchange and i'll put this down in the um, um thing as well and also you're still trying to get some airdrops from zk sync when they drop their coin so kill two birds with one stone so Lastly here, I'm going to go here to NFTs. I don't know if I have enough for this or not. And I transferred from my other wallet to NFT here, but now I'm going to transfer back. Uh, do we got enough for it? Look like we got enough for it. All right. So we sent... And for point zero 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 one seven zero four Ethereum or seventy four cents, this NFT that I had, these two NFTs, I, they're, they're silly, but I created these little NFTs and sent them back and forth to myself because I'm just playing around their network, you know, adding the contact myself and history. You can see the work. You did your own account fee transactions doing some work here you know trying to trying to trying to help out the, the algorithms to get your boy in his organization some um some airdrops if anybody who's watching maybe do the same for yourself with that i love you you love you god loves us and that's all that matter